This is KATV meteorologist Todd Jacoby, and thank you so much for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are, of course, your ticket to big weather events. I thought I'd just give you another update here um, with what could happen as we uh, continue to push on towards the middle to end of the week with this is brand new model data from weatherbell.com. And uh, this shows you uh, temperatures here with the European model, and I'm going to start this out on Wednesday. This is Wednesday afternoon. Uh, or evening, I should say, about 6 o'clock. Initially, as we've been telling you here on the Arkansas Weather Blog, you can see how the Ozarks, you know, holding up uh, for quite a while, the uh, cold air. So you're in the upper 40s across northwest Arkansas late Wednesday, 60s to near 70. It's almost spring light. <laughs> now let's go into time. I'm expecting the front to pass through, let's see, central Arkansas close to six o'clock, maybe just before six o'clock on Thursday morning. So that's the boundary here, the Arctic boundary moving through. The cold air is lagging behind due to the Ozarks. So you can see we're in the upper 30s across far northwest Arkansas Thursday morning, but still holding on to 60s across the southern portions of the state. And because the Ozarks really holding up that colder air, this is Thursday at 6 p.m. We're in the 20s. There's freezing rain and sleet up here in northwest Arkansas. It's a cold rain here, so I, in, at least in central Arkansas. Right now the worry is on Thursday, later on the day Thursday, is that the temperatures are actually colder than this. And that is a possibility because Arctic air is just, you know, the models just don't catch on to it. And we're talking about something that's several days away. So, it, you know, it's very cold up here. You can it's a safe bet you got freezing rain and sleep because the cold air is quite shallow. There's warmer air aloft, so it's not going to be snow. Uh, it's still very warm across the southeast corner of the state. So the danger is that these temperatures are not cold enough. Nevertheless, what this computer model is showing is that the uh, air temperatures here, the sub-freezing air is held up by the Ozarks uh, in this portion of the state, maybe even west central Arkansas. But uh, that's where the cold air and the sub-freezing temperatures will be by late in the day Thursday. But by Friday morning, oh, go back here. Here's Friday morning at 6 a.m. We're below freezing here in central Arkansas. The freezing line is doing something like this. Everything north of this, right in here, everything north of that is below freezing. Southern Arkansas is still a cold rain, again, according to this uh, piece of information. And by late in the day, here we go, late in the day, Friday, uh, we're 28 degrees here in Little Rock and in the teens already in northern Arkansas. And what I think the computer model here is telling us, if you look here, notice how southeast Arkansas is 23 degrees, or southeast Kansas is 23 degrees. And then it's in the teens here in Oklahoma in the low 20s. It's colder than southeast Kansas. What the model is doing and has in previous runs, it's showing you where the swath right in here, this is where the swath, this is what the computer model is saying is it's going to be a swath of snow, sleet, and freezing rain on the ground, frozen precipitation on the ground. So this is the most likely area, and some of that's edging into western Pulaski County, I think. So, I, you know, this is going to be where the heaviest amounts, according to this one piece of data, uh, will be confined to, um, and that will still likely change. Now look at Saturday morning. Uh, this is just unbelievable. Saturday morning single digits. It says it's going to be three degrees in Harrison. Windchill values, can you imagine? Well below zero. It says it's going to be 14, 15, 16 degrees in central Arkansas. It says it's going to be the low to mid-20s across southern Arkansas. Let's go quickly here to the precipitation. And what I want to show you, okay, this is Thursday, late Thursday at six o'clock. Everything north of this dark blue line, that's the freezing line. That's all frozen precipitation. We're still a cold rain here by late Thursday, but like I said, if the cold air here gets here stronger and faster, that's a possibility, but the Ozarks are holding up that sub-freezing air, and it's showing five-tenths of an inch, six-tenths of an inch. I mean, if, if, if this happens, you're, you're talking about a, a major winter weather event across northwest Arkansas, if, if this model verifies. Again, that's late Thursday, and then this is Friday morning. Let's back it up here. This is, first of all, midnight Thursday. The freezing line is still north of Little Rock, north of Conway, north of Moralton, near Russellville. Uh, but you got precipitation still coming down across northern Arkansas, heavier amounts across the south. So um, it's mainly a cold rain, according to this. Then you go into Friday morning, the freezing line is south of Little Rock, and it's showing, uh, let's see, about a half an inch of water. At least some of that would be in the form of ice if this were to verify, at least a, a portion of that. Not all of it, but a portion of that would be in the form of of, uh, of ice. And then if you just go six hours later with that freezing freezing line further to the south, it's adding up another three-tenths of an inch 
of uh, ice across uh, the metro area, even higher amounts out here towards uh, Montgomery County. Again, just a computer model, but this has been very, very consistent, and this is why we're not trying to scare you, but raise uh, raise the level of awareness, and then it's getting out of here by late, late in the day Friday. So I think the time period for northern Arkansas is Thursday and into Friday morning. Uh, for central and southern Arkansas, it's all Friday morning, and that's been consistent with the data. The danger is, is that it comes in faster and stronger. That's the danger with this. Arctic air has just been known to do that. Let's go into Saturday because there's yet another wave of moisture coming in late Saturday into Saturday night, uh, Sunday morning. Here's the freezing line, and there's additional light to even moderate moisture come streaming across portions of southwest, central, and east central Arkansas. The placement of this, it's, gonna, it's not going to get it exactly right this far out. And then by Thursday, uh, rather Sunday morning, it's picking up on at least another uh, a tenth to two tenths of an inch of precipitation, uh, even higher amounts in this corridor here uh, near Pine Bluff. Again, this is going to change, but it's all frozen. Uh, so you're looking at another chance going out in time, and then another tenth of an inch uh, between 6 a.m. and noon. So there you have it. I'm sorry to bore you. <laughs> Uh, meteorologist John Robinson with the National Weather Service office in North Little Rock, he has already issued a statement on the, the Skywarn Facebook page saying we'll be lucky if we get away with just winter weather advisories. Uh, I completely expect winter storm watches to be issued, and this is a situation where uh, I think you could, again, it's only Monday, uh, and this is all later on in the week, but you have to watch for the possibility with this because this is a layer of uh, shallow air. and shallow cold air you got to watch for the possibility for an ice storm warning uh, to be issued out of that so that's at least on the table i'm not saying that's going to happen i'm just hoping what i'm really hoping for is that the because uh, i really believe the cold air is coming and it's coming strong is that it cranks out less moisture uh, and i think the best case scenario is that it's sleet and not freezing rain you don't want freezing rain uh if you, if you have to have a choice between sleet and freezing rain you want the sleet i want the cold air to be deep enough so that it's sleet um like I said, the freezing rain adheres to all the trees, power lines, or whatever, and sleet at least, uh, it causes, I mean, both of them cause travel problems. Uh, but I want everybody to keep their lights on. I <laughs> don't want that to happen to anybody where you lose power, but that's what happens when you have freezing rain, especially amounts like the model saying. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but you know what? This is what I do here on the Arkansas Weather Blog. I give you every piece of information that we're analyzing, and, and here it is Monday, and I think that uh, knowledge is power, as they say, so just stay weather aware. Uh, not trying to hype any of this. I just want to lay it out for you, show you what we're looking at, and I'm going to hope that the computer model data, two things with the computer model data as we go throughout time, I hope that it comes in with less precipitation and even colder temperatures. That way we can negate the effects of any freezing rain, and if we get anything, it'd be sleet. So there's plenty of time for it to change. Stay with me here on the Arkansas Weather Blog. It is your ticket to big weather events and on Twitter and Facebook.